Hi, it's Habiba from Crafty Find My Love. I'm so glad you made it to today's video because we are invited to a housewarming party of a friend and it's a German tradition to bring a loaf of bread and some salt. I bought these cute little bowls. The salt is already in there. Um, I think um, I shouldn't transport the bread without any coverage. So I bought this lovely um, dish towel from a local weaving mill. And I will transport the gift on a cutting board. Now, it wouldn't be a present I made if there weren't at least one DIY item in it. So I was thinking about writing a lovely little saying um, on the back of the cutting board. So this way my friends can cut their bread on one side and if they don't use the board, they can use it as a decorative prop for the kitchen. Um, I figured you might be interested in learning how to do wood burning. It's also called pyrography. Um, and because I need to be going in an hour, we better get started. <laughs> So here we are, um, I have printed a template of the saying I want to use. Together is a wonderful place to be. Um, and I will turn it around. You see that I already marked um, where the saying stops on the back, on, on, the, on the other side. Um, I did this simply by holding the piece of paper against the window. Now here I have a piece of carbon paper. Um, it's dark on one side and lighter on the other. So this is where the, the carbon is on. So we will place it this way on our template and use some tape to, oops, to secure it in place. So now the template is ready to turn around. I will place it in the center of my board. Let's grab some more tape and fix it to the top so it won't move while we trace. Like so. Okay, so now it's time to transfer our saying onto our wooden board. We use a pen and we simply trace the letters. This is going to be a handmade product, so it's not too bad if, if you get the letters a little wonky. I don't have a steady hand today. Maybe I need some sugar in my blood. <laughs> Whoops, that was not straight. Oh well, as I just said, it's handmade. Sometimes the lines in the wood make your pen go another direction as you want it to go. Tell me, what is it you give as a housewarming gift in your country? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, let's speed this up a bit and we'll see each other back once I traced everything. If it turns out you need quite some pressure to transfer your text onto the wood. Here is my Dremel. It's already very hot and I will um, work from the top to the bottom. Let's see how that works, shall we? Okay, here is what I learned so far from doing the first two um, lines. <clears throat> it's better to um, use a metal ruler <laughs> for the straight lines. This gives you just more security. Um, then um, it is important to not use too much pressure. Let the heat um, be the strength of this project, not your, not your, you know, not your body strength. And while the heat is, um, you know, burning the wood, um, you'll be able to slide very slowly um, over the wood. In the beginning, I did these motions um, and that doesn't work so good. Like, look at this A and this I. They look super perfect. And look at this T. It's, 
it, well, the, the lines are simply straighter if you use less strength and more time. Not my kind of thing. I'm not very patient, but I'll make do. <laughs> so let me show you on this T, maybe. You place the ruler here. You find the start point. You press down slightly. And then at minimum speed. This can be annoying, folks, but at minimum speed, especially if you have to go in 10 minutes, <laughs> I guess we will be late to the party. Slide downwards. Now, don't pass the point where you need to stop. <sighs> What'd you say? Straight line, huh? Maybe it's a little bit thicker on the top than the bottom, so I can fix that by working my way up here. Very slowly. I tend to like the downstrokes better. <clears throat> so this is how we work with the straight lines. Now to do the top lines, I recommend you turn your work upside down. This way you see how far you have to go with your Dremel. And then the not straight lines, well, you will have to freestyle. I will work the outsides of the word wonderful and then I will fill them in somehow later. Maybe use a different piece of the Dremel for that part then. I think it's good to go from one stopping, natural stopping point of the cursive writing to the next. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in that template, you can download it for free over at my blog, Craftify My Love. I'll make sure to link to it in the info section below. Same as for the supplies you need for this craft. I don't want to bore you, so I'll be working and I'll be back once I'm done. So at first I thought I would do all the outlines of the cursive font and then fill it in, but I realized using um, this roundish um, top of the Dremel, it works way easier as you can see here looks way more smooth and the cursive font is also very forgiving. So this will speed things up. <laughs> After all, I won't be late to the party. After a little practice, you'll enjoy this way of creating unique gifts. See you in a minute. Phew. <laughs> so I worked up a little sweat here. <laughs> The Dremel is really hot and yeah, the lighting as well. <laughs> Working with a Dremel takes longer than you think. Looks like a whole mess while you're working on it. You think it's complete fail, but look how pretty it is in the end. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Happy crafting! Bye-bye!